yeah, let's get started. So first off, this is my suitcase. It's just a little like carry-on that fits like all the standards for like the small planes over here and I got it at Goodwill when we were in the US so I think I paid like five or six dollars for it and it is in really good shape. We literally just sprayed it down with the hose when we got back from Goodwill and left it outside to air out and it's literally as good as new so I'm super excited about this suitcase because we tried to go buy like new carry-on suitcases looking for them on sale and stuff and we could not find like a decent one under $50. So we really saved and scored big time finding this one at Goodwill. So I'm super excited. First trip with the new suitcase. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay, so everything that I brought, let's just go through it, shall we? First of all, my little travel makeup bag. You guys, I did a video showing everything that is in here a few months ago, maybe a month ago, and I can guarantee you it's still the same stuff, so I'm not gonna go through all the makeup that is in here, but if you're interested, everything that's in here, there is a video, I will link it down below. You guys can go check it out. So I need to bring my makeup. Obviously, this is, you know, a pretty big supply for one week, but I like to do my makeup. I like to have some options, especially for an event like this, where it's like some day and night things. So I wanna be able to switch it up. So check out that video if you have not seen it already. Next is just my liquids. Um, here in Europe, you can bring as many liquids as you want, as long as they're under 100 milliliters and that they fit into like a clear plastic thing, which is really nice, because in the US, you can only bring three liquid items, which is always really difficult for me. So I was super excited when I found out I can bring as much as I want. So what I bring as far as like liquid toiletry type of items, I have a few um, little travel size shampoos, two of these because yeah, to be honest, I could use this all up in like one wash, but I'm gonna try to make two of these last me all week. So just shampoo, a mini conditioner, um, makeup setting spray, I have um, my double wear foundation, a face cream, some eyelash glue, and that is about it for liquids. We did realize upon getting here, like, you know, we don't have hairspray for Matias, he likes his hairspray, so there are a few things that we will go buy, but it's not really a big deal, we'll just head to the local grocery store and it will be fun anyways, going in an English grocery store and just kind of checking it out, so if you do forget something, it's never like that big of a deal because... Come on, they're gonna have it where you're going and sometimes it can be a fun little adventure. Next, I also brought this little pouch that I keep all of my hair ties in. So this is just all of my um, hair bands, hair clips, and little clear elastics for when I do my braids and stuff. So I just bring that with me. It's like a really small, convenient little thing. I really like it. Deodorant, obviously you need that. Okay, now into the clothing. This is where I am so proud of myself that this is one week's worth of clothes. Because usually I'd always bring like backup options and backups on backups options. So I really, I think I kept it quite simple this time around and I'm really excited about it because it made traveling so much easier. So first I have, um, in addition to the shoes that I wore today, which were just some booties, I brought these um, heels that I really like to wear with like ripped jeans for going out at night. So I think there are some nighttime events or definitely we will go to like a pub or something. So I like to wear these kinds of heels and these are super comfortable, you guys. I really like these. Um, I brought an umbrella that's always useful because when it rains and you forgot your umbrella It's annoying always having to buy a new one So I try to remember to pack one so I don't end up like buying all these umbrellas and keeping a stockpile of them Okay, and then as far as tops we are here for a week So I brought um, seven like shirts like t-shirt type of items Sorry, they got a little bit mixed up in the flight. Normally they would be folded a bit more nicely. But yeah, you can see everything is neutral, which makes it so easy because I don't have to stress about things matching or not matching. Everything kind of is interchangeable, which I really like, but I have some that are more for going out at night and some that are for day and some that are perfect for both. And then to go with the tops, I brought three like sweaters slash jackets. So I have two kind of like knit um, pullover sweaters that I can throw over any of the t-shirts that I brought to just be more comfortable <laughs> whatever you know what I mean just to have an extra layer so I have two again they're neutral so I can layer them over any shirt that I brought if I would have a green sweater and it only matches like my green or my white shirt then this one is more like a jacket um, for nighttime you can see it has like these fake leather arms and it's black and it looks really sleek over um, like a tank top with some ripped jeans or black jeans at night with those heels that I showed you it's such a cute outfit um, hopefully I'll wear that one night and I can show you guys like the whole look in a vlog or something like that but yeah I really like this jacket 
And then I brought one other pair of jeans in addition to the ones that I'm wearing. So I'm wearing some black jeans right now. And I brought um, these lighter wash jeans in addition to those. Like these have some holes in them, some really big holes in them. They used to be smaller, but they keep growing on me. But I still like these jeans a lot and they're still wearable. So I think that these are cool for daytime with like some booties and just like a basic t-shirt. So I definitely can imagine I'll be wearing these most of the week. And then of course, pajamas. I just brought one pair, just some flannel type um, pants and a white t-shirt to go with them. And then in addition to the purse that I carried with me on the plane today, I just have one small purse for going out again, for walking around at night so I can have my hands free. And again, black goes with everything. So always makes it easier for traveling to bring things in neutral colors or in black. So I definitely will be wearing this when we go out at night. And then of course I brought, you know, seven pairs of underwear. I'm not going to show you guys all my underwear, but I think one pair of underwear per day is pretty sufficient and we can always do a load of laundry if we really need to. Again, for me, this is not a lot of clothes. Maybe for you, you're perfectly good at wearing like, I don't know, three t-shirts and then washing them and wearing them again. But for me, I think for a trip like this, having one shirt per day is a pretty good benchmark. I'm really excited because having these options that I love is just going to make the whole trip so much more enjoyable because I won't have to stress out about what I'm going to wear every day. They're all just clothes that I love and that I'm so comfortable in. And also I got a lot of people commenting why my wardrobe is so like dark or dull or neutral when they think that doesn't really suit my personality. And I mean, maybe that's true. I used to wear a lot more colors and prints and things like that, but I was always carrying around a lot of clothes every time we would travel. And I'm just so happy having these neutral clothes because it makes my life so much less stressful. And I'm all about simplifying, especially when you're traveling. I just want to pack up and go. And when we get there, I don't want to have to run around and buy items. I just want to be happy with what I brought. And I'm really excited. So that is about it for my suitcase. Now, Matias, his is going to be a lot faster than mine because he packed a lot less than me.